Oh, this is not good. It stays around, man. Studies show that our minds process between 12 and 60,000 thoughts per day. So make no mistake that when the idea of bleaching my insides with the spiciest foods I could find stuck, the only question I could ask was, why? And then I remembered a concept called the domino effect. See, if you want to knock down big challenges in life, you have to start with small, consistent action. This will create a positive chain reaction and is known as compounded discipline. So realizing this, I knew that challenging my spice tolerance wasn't actually an act of pure entertainment. It's a lesson that if you take one foot outside of your comfort zone, you'll never believe what's on the other side. To put it in perspective, I honestly sweat when I eat spicy mayo. <laughs> I mean, my spice tolerance is that bad and it's gonna be way outside of my comfort zone I can tell you that much. Do you have any like really spicy stuff? Really spicy stuff. Uh, this is probably the spiciest thing so far. Yeah? Right. You can just take a bite out of this normally or you can put it with ramen like in the broth and stuff. Let's see how that one goes. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the normal noodles. And the first person that is feeling so bad that they have to drink milk is going to have to eat one of these peppers raw. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> first person that. Oh, I thought you were going to finish the milk. So this is the hot pot bro hot pot broth and Chow is volunteering so graciously <laughs> to have a bite. Wish me luck here. I hope my genetic advantage comes into play. <laughs> Do you have any like really spicy stuff? Uh, this is probably the spicy Yeah? It's not that bad. Oh, never mind. The water is not gonna be fine. Water makes it <laughs> okay, so final challenge that we're gonna do, we'll take all the fucking noodles, all the rest of the noodles, put the spicy broth, put literally every single other broth that we have together all in one bowl, and then we'll just try and eat the whole thing. The whole thing? Yeah, we'll just try and eat the whole thing. That's <laughs> Throughout this challenge, each of us questioned whether we could keep going. Our lips, tongues, and throats were burning, and half of the time our brains weren't even functioning properly. But what we learned is that pain is temporary, and when your mind starts telling you to quit, realize that you haven't even shown your best. You see, most people will quit too early, and for that reason, they put a ceiling on their potential. But the truth is that none of us have a ceiling and you are better than you think. It's a mindset. Thanks for watching and make sure to hit that subscribe button for more content like this. See you next time.